ready to start. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, now, just to give you a brief outline of what this um, webinar is going to consist of, first of all, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what the McConnell program actually is. Then I'm going to talk to you a bit, little bit about how the McConnell program actually started, because that's quite an interesting history. Then I'm going to elaborate a little bit more about how the program developed and then what the program has meant to physiotherapists and also where we can head in the future because there's lots of opportunities for research and for things to happen in the future. And then I'm going to finish off the webinar tonight with um, an approach to a complex case study so you can see the thought process of what's going on. Evaluating and looking at individuals so you can determine how their baseline structure will contribute to the way they're going to move and the pain they can experience. Now this will involve taking a very detailed history from the patient so you can understand their symptoms and how their symptoms um, interact with things going on in their lives because where they, start, where they start from will actually determine how they're going to move and where exactly they'll end up. So you'll know where their movement's occurring, where is getting too much load, and what you can do about improving that too much load. So my patient um, is a 50-year-old uh, patient who in October uh, 2015 uh, presented with excruciating right knee pain after a spin class. If we have a look at the uh, whole sort of what is pain scenario, um, in her case, she tore her meniscus, so she had the unpleasant sensory or emotional experience associated with the actual or potential tissue damage. Meniscus, she got um, increased pain when she was walking overseas, she got a degenerative tear of a meniscus. What can we do? We can decrease the knee pain. So we can actually unload for the meniscal pathology. So this is showing unloading uh, for the fat pad. Um, now, compliance to exercise is also poor if the patient's belief is such that exercises will be harmful. So we have to show that if we can decrease the pain and give them exercises or training in a pain-free manner, so make sure that they do it every time they clean their teeth. So you give them very simple strategies and you ask them, do you clean your teeth every day? And they, if they go yes, then you say that's when you do these, these body management strategies. Because for some patients, even the word exercise is abhorrent. They can't stand it. So they go, oh, I don't want to do any exercises. And often we as physios give them too many. So we give them too much and so they look at the sheet and go, oh, too hard. So, and I hope you will come and join me at one of our seminars and really, really enjoy treating your patients because we're in a very privileged position to be able to do this for patients and I love what I do and I still love what I do. Every day you can make a difference to someone. Thank you very much.